Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Ziegens and Philips that was played in 1992. This is actually a correspondence game. In this game, Ziegens had white pieces and he started with e4. Philips played d5, Scandinavian defense. Pawn takes pawn. And now, the most common move in this position is queen takes pawn on d5. And the second most popular move is knight to f6, when black wants to recapture the pawn with knight. In our game, we have e5, unusual move, asking for pawn takes pawn, and passan, and then white would capture pawn with bishop sacrificing the pawn for quick development of his pieces. Instead of pawn takes pawn, white played bishop to c4, defending the pawn, c6, offering another pawn for quick development, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on c6, and white is a pawn up, d3, knight to f6, and the white played a3. a3 is a move wasted. Better was to play a knight to f3. So we have a3 perhaps preventing bishop to b4. Black played bishop to c5. And after six moves, black has developed three of his pieces and white only one knight to e2, better was knight to f3, knight to e2, and now not castling, knight to g4, target is pawn on f2, white considered castling, and then he saw queen coming to h4, threatening a checkmate, so instead white played d4, Knight takes on d4, if knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, and black is okay. So white cast at kingside. Queen to h4, threat is queen takes pawn on h2, checkmate. h3 was played, and we have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. If you wish, you can pause this video. And you can try to find the killer move that black played in this position. What did you find? Have you seen perhaps this move? This is also winning. After rook takes on f2, then knight to f3 check, and after king to h1, queen takes rook. Black is winning. In the game, black played knight to f3 and white resigned possible continuation is king to h1 or perhaps pawn takes knight let's have a look at king to h1 first then knight takes pawn on f2 check rook takes knight queen takes rook Perhaps white can try bishop to b5 check, king to e7, knight from b to c3, and bishop takes pawn on h3 is winning for black. What about pawn takes knight? This is even more fun for black. Then bishop takes on f2 check. If rook takes on f2, then check and checkmate. So perhaps white can try king to g2. How would black win now? It's your move. How would you win if you had black pieces? The winning move is knight to e3 check clearing the way for the bishop to get to h3. Bishop takes knight, 
bishop takes a pawn check king to h1 and there is a checkmate in one move bishop takes rook checkmate in this game black scored an amazing win with a scandinavian defense very interesting isn't it and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.